Hey, welcome back. In this video segment, we're going to look at file sharing. This is one of the videos in a series of videos in small office networking. So if you are catching this in the middle and you want some more uh, lead up to this, look for uh, the introduction to small office networking and then there's a series of one, two, three, etc. Anyway, so file sharing is the ability to share files across the network and it doesn't have to be that complicated there's a few ways to do it we're going to look at local file storage uh, but we could also have cloud file storage which we'll cover in another video so here's what you do let's suppose the computer I'm looking at right now is the computer where I'm going to keep shared files and this is going to be the common computer where we sh where, where the office stores all their files so what I do is I go to the computer I go to the C drive and on the C drive, I will uh, just create a folder, anything you want it to be. Um, I'm going to call this, uh, I use, I typically, when I make a shared folder, we'll, we'll call it common. So let's call this common. I've got a few of them, so let's call this common four. Okay, so I've got a folder called common four. Then what I do is I right click it and I go to uh, properties. Um, and then there's in the properties a thing here called sharing. Now I'm doing this on Windows 10. This same concept would be true for Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 8. It's just that it might look slightly different, but the basic idea is the same. Is is that you create a folder and then you're going to share it. So as you can see right now, I've got this folder common four. It's not shared. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click share and then I'm just going to choose everyone now everyone doesn't necessarily mean that anybody who connects their computer to the network can access my files what it does mean is that everyone who's an authenticated user on this computer can access those files so I'll talk about that in a minute so it shows everyone I said share alright so now what I've got is I've got uh, file sharing turned on for this folder which is on this computer vio fx slash common four now notice the way this address is written you might want to write this down if you're it, once you've done this you will write this down it's two slashes two of the backward slashes meaning the the slash points to like 11 o'clock the name of the computer vio fx and then another backward slash and then the name of the folder all right so I can close that up now I'm going to move over to another computer where I can access that folder and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, now we're on another computer. So before I was on my Vio FX Sony computer where I made the shared folder. Now I'm on a computer where I'm going to use the shared folder. So let's open up uh, any folder explorer window where we can get this location bar. Here, let me move this down a little bit for you. Okay, so this is what I call the location bar right here where it says quick access. All right, what I want to do here is, is put in that address that I told you to make note of before, which is the two backward slashes, the name of the computer, and then another backward slash, and then the name of the folder. All right, and then hit enter. Now, the first time you do this, or maybe the first time you've turned on your computer for the day and you do this, it will take a few minutes for it, well, not a few minutes, but about like 15, 20 seconds for it to resolve. Uh, there's ways to speed that up by doing something called mapping, but we're not going to get into that right this second. So after you hit enter, yeah, it'll just kind of sit there and do nothing for a while. And then what will happen is at some point it'll resolve and we'll see our folder. Okay, or well, it'll ask for our credentials to get into the folder. So I didn't talk yet about creating individual accounts. But the account it's asking for here is any user account on the other computer, meaning on that, on that first computer I was showing you. So the login here is not the login for this computer that you're looking at, but this is the login for the previous computer I was on. And when we get back to the other computer, I'll, uh, I'll talk briefly about how to uh, make individual accounts. Alright, so I've already set up some folders in here since the last time we, we looked at that. And uh, let me just take and drag a file into here. So down here, this little Word file, I'm just going to take and put that in the shared folder right there. 
All right, so now it's in the shared folder, which means anyone on the network who accesses that folder address, that two backward slashes, computer name, backward slash, folder name, will be able to see this file. So now we're all sharing this file on the network. All right, so let's go back over to the uh, previous computer and, um, and uh, I'll wrap up a few things over there. All right, we're back to the original computer, the one that I made the share on. So remember I, in that previous video, I just showed you where I, um, I mean that previous segment, I just showed you where I took the file and put it in the folder. Well, so now if I drill down to that folder, which is on my C drive and common four, and now we can see that, that word file, small office networking that I put in there from the other computer. Okay, so that's basically file sharing. Let me show you how you can make individual accounts so that you can give out accounts to other people uh, so that not everyone has to use your personal login account to access your PC. So, uh, okay, so in Windows 7, Windows XP, it's pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, Windows 10, they, they kind of had to go and make it a little more complicated. Uh, but the idea is going to be the same, which is that you need to go to the control panel. Um, let's see if I can do that here. Uh, I know that in Windows 10 they've replaced that with um, with uh, settings. So let's go to control panel. And let's go to user accounts. All right, so here's my account already on here. There's also a local administrator account down here where it says add a new user to this PC. All right, now this is where it gets a little tricky because what happens is Microsoft and Windows 10 just decided that they want everyone who uses your computer to have a Microsoft account. If you want to go that direction, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I just, I don't want to have to make a Microsoft account every time I want to add somebody to this computer. So down here where it says add someone else to computer and then you kind of have to look for the words that say no uh, account like doesn't have an account and it, it's it's kind of the dialogue is not real friendly for this because Microsoft seems to really really want you to have some kind of a Hotmail or Outlook account in order to uh, use this PC. All right, looks like this is going to spin for a few minutes so I'll just stop here and restart. Okay, looks like it finally resolved here. All right, so again here it wants you know an email address down here where it says I don't have this person's sign-in information. Well, it's got to think again. Okay, again wasn't we won't stop with the whole want you to create an email account thing, but down here again at the bottom add user account without Microsoft. All right, finally we get to a place where we can add a local username. So this is where I would create individual usernames for people with passwords and give them to them and that will allow them to have access to that folder um, but you can also kind of get even more fancy and regulate like you could even create folders for individuals uh, that could be private just for them so um, so yeah so you basically just create like you know user one put in the password put in the password password hint and then that person would have an account that they could use to access the, uh, the the folders. Okay, so that is about it. That was traditional Windows file sharing. Uh, we're also going to do another video on how to um, use cloud file sharing, which is pretty interesting. So, uh, but that just gets you started for now. Okay, thanks for watching.